Hi everyone, I am Sandy. Welcome to Ozark Mountain Reseller. Um, located here in Joplin, Missouri. Just tell you a little bit, um, just kind of, I'm a wife uh, to Greg and I do work full time and I do sell on eBay part time, wanting to go into full time as soon as I can. <laughs> I just passed my 500 listings, which is a big thing to me because be, you know, working full time and, you know, the, really the only time I can do anything is weekends or after work, which is exhausting. Anyway, but I have made it to 500 and I'm on my way again. My next goal is 550. I don't set big goals for myself. So anyway, okay, so let me just address the back. We are painting. We're going to start painting. You'll see the wall up there in the corner. It is coral color. So we are painting over that. So anyway, but I went to garage sales today. This is the first garage sales season started. I am so excited. I did only get to two of them because I just had limited funds. <laughs> um, but I got some really good stuff for a really, really good price. So anyway, well, let me start in on it and I will show you what I got. My first big bag here, like Santa bag, is full of linens and I got these um, just a little bit ago at a garage sale and she gave me really good prices on them because um, everything I mean she, her prices were already cheap but because I bought so many linens she uh, gave me a lot of them instead of being two dollars they were a dollar huge uh, tablecloths but let me go. I did get, I got some, just preparing, um, 50 cents. I got, I like to put thank you cards in my um, box or packages when I send them off. I got this. She had several and I never heard of this brand. So I thought, well, I'll just get one. It's called Ruby Road, but it was really a pretty good spring color. It is a maxi dress really neat print and up here it's chiffon like see-through rough foley and then this here was with it and it has the rhinestones down the front um you got a hook and eye there all the way down hook and eyes all the way down but look at the rhinestones on it it's so pretty and they go so well together this one he the dress also has rhinestones on the front of it there um, but was this was a dollar each, so two dollars for this, which you know, and I'll just look and see what kind of um comps that I find on eBay. Um, I'm just learning new things, I know quite a bit, but if you, I'm always I'm always wanting to learn, so I decided to get that one piece. So, anyway, here is the tablecloths. This one here, she I bought it for a dollar. It is um, 138 by 68. Uh, it's an oval, and look at this. This is on the bottom of it. Around the, isn't that so pretty? And you know, I just I didn't see, I, I didn't really look for spots because something like this is so pretty that sometimes you have to overlook the spots. But also, I want to see if I can try to get them out. There was some things that were um, yellowed and stuff. And I'm just going to see if OxyClean will get that, take care of that. And this one here, it's uh, 82 by 64 oval. And it was a dollar. And look at this. It's so pretty. Look at that. It's like a crocheted with embroidery on it. And it it's, has the scallop edges all the way around it. Just really for a dollar, it's like, oh my goodness. Yes, please, more. Then here is another tablecloth. This is 68 by 102. It was a dollar too, and it has, it's kind of like the Battenberg um, laser cut, like the Battenberg has. I will, I will probably call it Battenberg because that's, Usually they um, they do linens. So I just sold shams that were Battenberg. Then I have 
This was a dollar and it is a really long, this is doubled, boho with tassels on it. This is like a kind of a drop cloth type, um, really heavy material, but that was a dollar. And I really scored at this one. I got some things for it that we will use around the house as well. These here she marked, I think there's another set maybe. Yeah. These here she had marked for $2 each, but she went ahead and marked them down to $2 or a dollar since I was getting um, everything. But they are placemats, has the embroidery and it has the crocheted around the top. I will probably um, ask for about $20, $25, This one here isn't quite as intricate. It does have the embroidery on it. If you can see it. I don't have the best lighting there. Um, it's a flower and has the kind of a scallop edges. These will probably be um, right around the $20 area since they're not so intricate. And these here also have the embroidery, little flower on it. And they have the scallop edges as well. That's finished. And then this one here, um, I think there's only well, there is four of these. These aren't as heavy, but they have like a, it's a really pretty, it'd be more for fall, but there's the flowers on it and it has the brown edging that finishes it. And then here is another one, and I'm not sure, this may be eight of them in here, um, but it has the little embroidery detail as well and the finished edges kind of a scallop a, a big scallop anyway those were a dollar each and lady was so oh excuse me so nice my bag fell over um then i just got some things that she had laying there some of these does have the um spots on them that i'm going to try to remove but there is these are placemats or you could probably, um, I think these here are napkins. And I got quite a few of these. I think there's eight of these. And then this here has quite a few of, it has the embroidery on the corner there. And this, this is the one, one of these ha is one that had the yellowing really, really bad. But I think if I soak it in OxyClean, it may be able to get a little bit whiter. Um, then I found these, and these look like to be like, um, like a little table runner type. And it's has that flower embroidered and cut out. This this was 10 cents for these. And then it just has the little, this would go on the sides of it. So those were 10 cents each. Then let's see, what else do I have in this bag? More linens, I believe. Um, oh, I got this, this billfold. I couldn't read. I'm going to have to get it in the light, but it was only a dollar, but it looks like it's brand new inside and it has like quite a few compartments on it. So I don't know if I'm going to list this one or if I'm going to keep it. It just depends. I cannot read what it says there, but anyway, I got that. And then what else is in here? I just, I mean, I could have stood there. Oh, yeah, this is one I accidentally looked over, and it's really pretty. Um, this one here was 50 cents. It has the embroidery on it. And all this is looks like to be machine embroidery, so not that vintage, but it is, they are vintage. Just not, 
um, old from the 1950s. These are probably from the 70s, 80s. Um, here, look at this. This is, let me show you up close. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? I love the colors in it. This is a another big one. It is 98 by 64 oval. And this is like um, applique with it. But it is so pretty. And it has the um, big applique on it. I sit back a little bit. Just absolutely gorgeous. And she only charged a dollar for this. So I was very excited about that. Then, let's see if I can find her. Let's see, I got, oh, this is a few things for me. I got this notepad, hadn't been used. It was a dollar and it has a pencil in it. So I could just use that to, to and these are some more cards. These were 50 cents. Always watching. Now that it's, I've ordered cards, but now that it's springtime and so many people have them for 50 cents. It's like, okay, this is a tin, and I'm thinking it is so pretty, and it is so heavy. It looks like silver, but it's not. But look at that. It'll be really pretty for um, Christmas to put um, just on your table, and then put some, maybe some uh, pine cones or some red berries around it. But that is so pretty. It's just a an empty tin, but... I thought that that was just gorgeous. It doesn't have a date on it, but I, it feels, it's heavy and it feels like it's in, you know, I think it's just made to look old. It's not, but I think it'd be so pretty in a Christmas decor. Let me see. I had another, oh, here it is. Hold on. Let me see if I have, oh, I got these. These are for me. But this was 25 cents for two of the divided plates. And I can do that, make that to work. Um, I found these glasses. There's six of them. They were 25 cents each. We'll just, they're plastic, but I'm always watching because not breakable. But this is what I liked. They're going to fall on the floor. Hold on. Okay. Look, they've got the apple stirrers. All glass. I got all of these. There's six of them. And they were a dollar each. Just kind of maybe a martini or a mixed drink stir. Has a little apple on top. So I thought those were pretty. And for a dollar, they're all, um, there's no chips or anything on them. Set those down there very carefully. Okay. So the other garage sale I went to. This one had a lot of kids things. I'm not really... I'm kind of wetting my feet with the kids stuff. Um, maybe possibly, I'm mainly I'm on eBay for sure. And I'm going to think about Kittison because I have a lot of clothes for not children right now, but I have a lot of clothes in general for women and stuff. But I did find some pretty good things at this one. I did get, this is a... Mountain Smith. It was $10. I did pay up for it, but it is like brand new inside. The, the zippers all work <clears throat> and just looks really good inside. It's like um, you can carry it like this, but also it can go around your waist. And these are, I comped it out there before I spent $10 on it. And it looks like the return on investment is um, really good. So, and it, and this is in really, really superb condition. Okay, and let me see. I've gotta put these down here somewhere. Okay, here is the other thing that I bought. This was Spider-Man. It didn't have the pillowcase, but it's a top and fitted Spider-Man they are they are vintage and i didn't i got them that that garage sale was crazy busy um and i did see quite a few resellers there i don't really i haven't ever really seen a lot of resellers i'll have to open this up to find out what kind it is but um here is here is the tag it's pretty worn but it does say spider-man on it so, um, 
anyway, I got those. They were a dollar. And then, let's see. I got this pair of little girl sandals. They, it was marked $3, and I said, no, I don't want them for three. And she said, how about two? So I went ahead and did it for two. They, they do look really good. Um, little zippers in the back here. And there's that. They're really cute. Looks clean on the... And they are um, Cat and Jack shoes. So they are a size six. And then I got more stuff. They put it in this big bag, so I'm just going to have to pull them out and find them as I get them. These are Miss Me jeans, and I think they may be maybe girls or a really, really tiny woman. Um, here's the back, and I know that Miss Me, these are a 28, so they may be women's. And just a really little woman. Um in seam is 33 and a half. But those are really cute. Distress on the pockets as well. I got these. I paid up for these just because I know Miss Me Jeans do pretty well. So I paid, I think, $4 for those. Then I got some stuffed animals. I got a Barney. These were 50 cents. And I have to make sure I put them where my dogs, my puppies don't get them. This is... Dumbo, and he was a dollar, and he, this is from Disney Stores, so I love Dumbo, it's like, he is so cute, and I don't want to knock off my camera either, so it's up on a table one, okay, this here is from Toy Story 4, I paid 75 cents for it, and it is a unicorn, and so really, really soft. My dog is looking at these. She's down here at my feet looking at this like, okay, is that my toys? Because they love to get stuffed animals, but I didn't get them any at the garage sale this time. Then I got, let's see what, oh, I have some, I just got a few videos and stuff and games. Just, I'm kind of dabbling in that as well. So, I'm not spinning an arm and a leg for them, but I know this tails and this is new in the package. I got it for 50 cents, Veggie Tails. And then I got Barney. I got a couple of Barney. This is Happy Birthday Barney and the Land of Make Believe. And those were uh, 50 cents each. Then I got, this is a game, NFL 10. It was only a dollar, so. You know, I thought, well, I don't know. And then Portal 2, they didn't have a lot of games to choose from. This is new, sealed in the package. It's just the package has issues, and so does the case there. But I'll just dis disclose it. It doesn't hurt the, the, uh, um, the actual disc inside. Nope, you get out of here. <laughs> she's, she's smelling them. This is from Shark Week, and I it was only a dollar. I thought he was so cute. He's like a little, there's his little fin there and googly eyes. Well, they they don't move, but they, this would be good for a baby or a toddler because there's no, I always watch that. Um, that way, in case the eyes happen to come off or the nose could be choking, but these are actually um, applique on. So, I got that, and I, this is so cute. Look at this. It is a caterpillar, and it was, it was only, let me get it right for you. It was only a dollar, so I thought that was so cute, um, and it is um, dandy, so, but it was so cute. I couldn't pass it up. It was 50 cents. Not a dollar. Uh, okay, then I got another pair of jeans. And these are silver jeans. And I paid $2 for them. Um, once again, they're kind of 
factory distressed on the front has the signature pockets and these are a size it's Francis 18 so I'll have to look and see what is oh here it is waist 29 length 33 so but you know silver jeans I've I've seen people get them and they go pretty good at then I got these little kids shoes. These were a dollar and they look like they haven't been worn at all. You know, kids grow so fast um, from their shoes. And this is Buster Brown. It has a little paw on the side. And what else? Oh, I got these. These were a dollar. These are Cat and Jack Unicorn. They're a little bit worn on the bottom, but not bad. Somebody really liked it, but um, I can get some magic eraser and see if I can get some of that off. But these were so cute, and these were a dollar. So anyway, I believe that is my haul for today. I'm so excited. I also have, I, um, I'm getting into, I'm, I've listed so much, but... I'm, I just steamed a bunch of clothes last night so I can list them today. So those clothes and all of this is going to be, if I can get to all of it today, this weekend, um, I'm going to be putting these on um, eBay. And I think that is it. I can't, I think I bought it. I think that was everything. I really appreciate y'all watching. If you made it to the end, I do appreciate it. I'm trying to keep my videos, you know, short so I don't lose anybody's attention but anyway I appreciate you guys for watching I would really appreciate it if you'd hit that like and subscribe button I'm up to 61 subscribers and I haven't I mean I've got it's kind of like I I can only do it when I in between everything so I um have quite a few videos but I need to get my you know, going up on my subscribers and, but I really do appreciate y'all and I would really, really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe, hit the bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video and hit that like button and it helps my channel so much. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.